Hello there, ACCA Management Accounting students. If you are stuck on the fixed overhead variances, I'll get you unstuck in this video. Guys, this is a tricky topic. In this video, I'm going to show you the raw exam technique that you need to clear a difficult fixed overheads variance type of question. Here on my screen, I have a question from the specimen exam. You're in the exam, you press next. This question pops up. What do you do? Do you panic? No, don't panic. Maybe this is not your favorite topic. This is a difficult topic. So flag it and go get easier marks and then come back and do it later. You wouldn't want to struggle with this especially if it was at the beginning of the exam, because there might be easier questions. In fact, there's, there will likely be easier theory questions later in the exam. So flag the really difficult questions like this, do them at the end. First thing I do, I read this requirement and I see a keyword jump out at me, variance fixed production overhead capacity variance. So I do not read anything in the little story. That's just going to confuse me at this point. What I'm going to do is make a template or I'm going to recall a template and put it down on scratch paper or in the scratch pad. Just like you don't go shopping when you're hungry without a shopping list, you'll end up buying potato chips and all kinds of snack food, you'll waste time, you won't come out with a good meal. Let's make a list and we'll use this template to make a list. It follows alphabetical order and it works in a very similar way to the variable uh, costs in variance analysis. And I'm gonna put these letters, AA, and I'm gonna put a mystery here, ASSS. Can you remember that? Alphabetical order. A, 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 S, S, S. Now, if we are doing fixed overheads, this is the only time in the variances we ever go back to the original budget. For the variable costs, we go to the flexed budget. And review that in your book, okay? We're not gonna do the flexed budget here. So, the missing piece of the puzzle is the original budget. So guys, that is my system. Now we've got these letters, AA, that stands for actual hours times the actual rate. It's really just the actual spend. How much money came out of my pockets to pay for my overheads? Now, ASSS, that's going to be actual hours, standard rate, standard hours, standard rate. Guys, are you with me? AA, ASSS, original budget. Now, standard rate, when we're doing this, will be the overhead absorption rate, everybody. And that is the budgeted production overheads divided by the product budgeted activity level. Now, now that we know what we're looking for, we just start plugging the numbers in. A manufacturing company operates a standard absorption costing system. Last month, 25,000 production hours were budgeted and budgeted fixed costs were 125. Guys, there's the first piece of info that I'm, I'm gonna just plug right in here, 125. Last month, the actual hours worked were 24. Okay, right there, that's actual hours, 24. And the standard hours for actual production were 27. Guys, that's the same as the flexed. That says when we produce X number of units, it should take 27 hours. It did take 24, okay? So the standard hours right there for actual production, 27. 
and we do not have actual costs here, but that's okay. They don't ask us about the actual costs at this time. So what you need to remember, expenditure variance is always over here. How much money came out of my pocket? I wanted to spend 125 on fixed overheads. Let's pretend that we actually spent 132. Guys, that would be adverse. More money came out of my pocket than planned. That would be $7,000 adverse. Maybe we took on more fixed cost employees. Maybe we spent more on heating oil because it was a cold winter. Mar marginal costing, absorption costing, both have an expenditure variance. Now, on the right side of this dashed line, that is only when we have absorption costing and over under absorption. So we need the overhead absorption rate. Can we do that? Sure we can. Overhead absorption rate. The overhead absorption rate, guys, will be 125,000. That's the budgeted cost over the budgeted hours. So 125 over 25 equals $5 per hour. Okay, So that's the missing variable, guys. And we just plug that in. So the AS is A120, the SS is a 135. Okay. Now, expenditure is on the left when we're doing the labor variance or the variable overhead variance or the fixed overhead variance. It's always efficiency on the far right. So the missing piece of the puzzle then is capacity. That's the strange one. That's the one we only have with the fixed overheads. That's the one that they're looking for in this question. We're always moving from right to left. So when we produce X number of units, we should have 135. Uh, absorbed, we did have 120 absorbed. So look at that. We absorbed fewer overheads because our team was more efficient. They did more units per hour. Okay. That would be a 15 favorable. Okay. Now, the 120 to the 125, guys, a lot of people misunderstand this. Capacity variance, it doesn't tell us about what the workforce did when they went to work. They could have just been there playing with their phones. We don't know. But we expected the workforce to clock in for 125 hours, or, or sorry, for $125 uh, dollars worth of hours, actually 25 hours, right? We only got 24 hours. So they were under capacity. They didn't come into the factory as much as we had hoped. So 120 should did. When the number is bigger, it is adverse, guys. That is five adverse. There we go. That's the figure that I am looking for. So we come back here. Answer everybody is A. The fixed production overhead capacity variance expenditure in my with my Little invented activity is seven adverse. Now, let's just do that again really fast. I'll show you how I would do it if it was my exam. One more time, up to speed. Read this first. We see what we're looking for, the fixed overhead variance. Okay, so right away, I write my letters, AA. Actual spend, original budget, actual hours, standard rate, standard hours, standard rate. 
I remember expenditure is always here. Efficiency is already here. By elimination, I remember then capacity is here. That's what I'm looking for. I need several variables. I need the original budget, actual hours, and the overhead absorption rate, right? O H A R, which is budgeted hour, which is budgeted cost over budgeted hours. So go through the question. Budgeted costs were 125. Actual hours, 24, multiplied by 125 over 25. That is equal to 120. We always go from right to left when we're using this letters system. And we say should, did. The did is higher. Okay, that's just the system that we use. And that means it's adverse. We are under capacity. Five adverse. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The fixed overhead capacity variance. If that helped, please throw down a like. If you got any more questions, park them in the comments. I'll do my best to get you a timely response. This is Steve signing out.